Martin Gresco with More Than Music. I hope you've been enjoying the videos that I'm posting and hopefully as I overcome the learning curve I'll be posting a lot more. In this video I'd like to talk to you about uh, playing some uh, clean country feels. I've already discussed this in another video uh, but I'll be posting quite a few videos on country piano. Uh, I love country music, make no apologies about it. Uh, one of the things I notice is that when uh, rock or pop pianists try to play country piano. A lot of times they caricature the sound because uh, I think that they uh, mistakenly assume that it's just simplistic. Uh, but the truth is, country music piano, it's clean and less is always better. And to play the licks well, uh, you're going to have to put some time in working on the chops. It's, uh, it's not quite as uh, simple as some folks uh, might like to think. Anyway, we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. This is Suds in the Bucket. This is the uh, piano feel that comes in on the verse right after the first chorus, uh, the second verse. Um, anyway, let's take a look at this lick again and a listen to it. And this time the uh, keyboard screen will be a view from the top uh, with the animated keyboard. And then we'll come back after that and I will break it down for you. see exactly what we're doing here lick by lick starting with the first line we're going to start with a B flat below middle C then middle C the F above the G back to the B flat then I'm going to hit a C and a D flat at the same time and uh, really uh, what I'm doing is I'm hitting the C maybe just a second before the D flat rolling up on it and then a B flat G and then B flat. So B flat's the key we're in, it's the tonic key and it's the home base uh, note for this particular lick. You have three, four, one, two. All right, let's look at line two. The very first lick, we have a G below middle C and then the E flat above. Take those notes down half, uh, I'm sorry, a whole step. You have F and D flat. Then you're gonna take them down to an E flat chord, we're just leaving out the middle note. So that's E flat and B flat. We take that down a whole step to D flat and A flat. Then we come back up. All right, so we have in tempo three, four, one. All right, the next lick we have starts with a B flat below middle C. Then you're going to take your pinky for the F. Put your second finger on that C, and then with your third finger, you're going to slide uh, with the C sharp to the D, because you need to hang on to the F, and you'll use your pinky for that. You won't re-strike that F. Then you'll have an E flat and a G, and then come back down with your thumb on that B flat. And then you'll just anchor your thumb on that B flat. That next measure, you've got F and B flat thumb on B flat, E flat and G, thumb back on E, I'm sorry, B flat. And then you're going to have a D and an F, and I'm going to use uh, my third finger again for that grace note. All right, so let's see if we can do this one in tempo. One, two, three, four, one. All right, now let's look at the uh, next line. This one's very simple because all it is is the boogie woogie B flat. D, F, G, B flat. And then if you'll notice on the D, there is a grace note, a little bent note. So in tempo, this one is one, two. Now, looking at the very last line, the first lick is uh, starting with the G below middle C and that E flat. And then we move that down uh, a whole step to the F and the D flat. Very similar to the, the uh, lick in line two, the first lick there, those first, uh, first part of this is. And then we're going to move down again, 
whole step with our thumb to E flat, half step with our upper note there to the C. Then we'll take that down a whole step to the D flat and the B flat. When we get to that B flat, your, your D flat, you will hold that as you strike the B flat. So in tempo, that sounds like this. Three, four, one. And then finally the last lick, starting on middle C. Then we're going to have a D flat or C sharp, then a D natural, B flat, F, and then very similar to the first lick where we had, only this time I've uh, taken my pinky and added the F with it. And you could also do that in the first line as well. I'm not 100% sure that's what's happening on the record. That's what my ear tells me is happening, but uh, I could be wrong. Uh, but it works, and it works nicely whether you have the F on that or this. Uh, just the C and the D flat. Either one works fine. All right, let's hear this last lick in tempo. So we have one, two, three, four, one. All right, now let's listen to this whole thing again at half speed. 